After World War I, human beings' research and development of aircraft basically evolved in the direction of flying higher and farther. Aircraft were made larger and had increasing payload capabilities. However, in this wave, micro-aircraft had not completely disappeared. At least in the 1930s, there were still people studying them. However, it should be said that the Real Micro Manned Aircraft should be the Weeby aircraft developed by the United States in the late 1940s. American designer Ken Crawford planned to develop the world's lightest manned aircraft after World War II. For this purpose, he brought in several experts in the field, including Bill Chana, who had served as a test pilot for various prototype fighter jets during World War II. Chana was not only an excellent test pilot, but he had also made many aviation models himself and had experience in micro-aircraft. In fact, he did provide many beneficial guidance on the design. Crawford initially wanted to design an aircraft with a weight of only 70 pounds, about 31.7 kilograms, which was obviously too idealistic. Although building large aircraft was not an easy task, Crawford and others quickly discovered that constructing small aircraft was equally difficult, as smaller structures had to withstand greater unit forces, and processing and manufacturing were very challenging. Because this was a private project, Crawford and the others worked on it in the evenings or on weekends. After trying, they found that light wood, which was originally used for medium and small aircraft, was no longer suitable. Fortunately, there was a surplus of aluminum materials from aircraft production during the United States World War II, and they were able to find a lot of them easily. In 1948, the micro-aircraft they designed and built was unveiled and scheduled for test flight. This was a small single-wing aircraft with a wingspan of only 15 feet, about 4.57 meters, using a front-fixed landing gear with a spring shock absorber and equipped with an 18-horsepower engine driving a pair of twin propellers. The aircraft did not have a standard cockpit, and the pilot could only lie on the back of the fuselage, with a soft pad at his chin, manually operating the controls in front of him. The pilot needed assistance to climb onto the aircraft and be secured with a safety rope to avoid falling. In emergencies, the pilot could pull a rope to quickly detach and parachute. The aircraft weighed only more than 40 kilograms, and the pilot's weight had to be strictly controlled. After the war, the media flocked to the manned micro-aircraft, and they spontaneously named the aircraft we be, which means, little b. Crawford and others claimed that they had developed the micro-aircraft not for economic benefits, but to pursue an ideal. After extensive media coverage, this view caused quite a sensation, and everyone was paying attention to the subsequent developments. However, the ground runway test of the aircraft did not go well. At least the development team unanimously believed that the aircraft's power was too weak. The aircraft needed to reach a speed of 45 miles per hour to take off. After adjusting the wing angle and other structures, it could take off at about 30 miles per hour. But this was not enough. Chana used his personal connections to find a 28 horsepower micro engine used in target aircraft at a US military warehouse. The team decided that the pilot would ascend without a parachute, lightening the load on the aircraft and increasing its power. After the slimming down of the Weeby aircraft, it successfully took off on November 20, flying 30 feet above the ground. In March 1949, the Weeby Micro Aircraft underwent its first official flight test. To demonstrate its flying ability, Chana and others deliberately stood in the middle of the airport runway. When the aircraft took off and passed over their heads, it was already about 40 feet above the ground. In subsequent test flights, the aircraft's wing angle changed repeatedly, and the maximum flight altitude reached 400 feet, with a maximum flight speed of about 130 km per hour. In 1950, the Weeby caught the attention of the military. This type of aircraft was light and compact, with very low noise, barely audible over a small hill, similar to a regular household motorcycle. The design team had planned to use military booster rockets for takeoff assistance, but this was not achieved. In 1950, after 13 test flights, 
This Weeby aircraft was officially retired and entered a museum after participating in several aviation static displays. Unfortunately, it was destroyed in an arson case, so we can only appreciate it through the remaining image data.